right, Todd here with Jeep Speed Shop. Here we have a 2015 JK Unlimited Rubicon that we put a three and a half inch lift for Metal Cloak. We added a one inch spacer in the front just to kind of level it out. You know, you know a lot of people talk to us about lifts, how big, how, how much, what should I do, long arm, short arm. You know, three and a half inch lift. We did a one inch spacer in the front I like the Bilsteins, we're running the 5160s. I believe it's the best shock for these uh, Rubicons. You know, we got Evo sliders mounted to the frame. Uh, we also had to change the front drive shaft. You don't have to, but I think it's a good idea now because it, it hits the exhaust. We ran a JE Reel uh, 1350 drive shaft. And we got flanges in the back and we're running a new yoke, all 1350 U-bolts in the front. I think it's a good way to go. Um, we're also running, you know, poison spider bumper. And then something else I think is cool that we're, we're doing now is this new tie rod system that we're running from Rare Parts. I mean, that stuff's the beef. So, um pretty cool we also did a flip on the sway bar motor pretty easy to do you don't really need a kit it's just a bolt and rethread it worked out really well uh, like I said this is all metal cloak lift uh, three and a half inch made in the USA uh, we're running 35s this is what it says on the tire measured out under 34 inches you know we ran wheel spacers ran the hard rock wheels um, I think that turned out really good looks nice so uh, you know we also have, uh, did an evap uh, relocate we and we just reused the uh, evap bracket up there flipped it cut it bolted it in made a strap you know worked out really really good looks nice redid all the, the lines fit you just had to reform them but they fit you don't have to adapt them or anything like that aluminum skids from TNT from the engine transfer case stuff's all made in America they make some really good stuff I like TNT really make good stuff so and, you know we did all the arms for metal cloak you know they have a good joints all the joints are really good they're uh, you know, I think it's a good way to go. I like metal cloak stuff too. So they make a really good lift kit. Okay. So, you know, we had to do an adapter for the spare in the back. Had to uh, kick it out about an inch and up a little bit so the stock spare wheel would work and the 35 inch tall tire. So, and then we also weighed this Jeep. So it weighs in. So we got scales here at Jeep Speed Shop. Forty-six eighty. It was, yeah, it's about forty-six eighty all in. So it's not too heavy, really. You know, this Jeep's also running the four ten gear. Um, you know, with the A five eighty automatic, about twenty three hundred RPM going down the freeway, it runs good. You don't need to regear it. You know, um, this engine transmission is a lot better than three eight and the 42 RLE so the A580 and the 36 is definitely the way to go and the 410s are perfect with this size tire so this worked out really well and you know we're just kind of doing a little walk around everybody always asks me about lifts and you know what tire combinations and so on this is what we use here the Jeep Speed Shop it's all American made works well drives nice drives actually better than it did stock so I highly recommend it. It's a good way to go. You know, you don't have to do it all at once. You know, you can piece it together. It works that way too, but uh, all right. I think I covered everything. Um, great all around Jeep, drives awesome, is a good daily driver. I mean, this is just an awesome rig. So, and nickname Cinnamon. So awesome rig. All right, Jeep Speed Shop out.